Hey Night Jester, this is uh, the view from Irma and I's porch. Isn't it nice? Um, and I'll actually, uh, let's have some coffee, shall we? It's, it's a little hot. Oh, it's not too bad. Um, actually, I, I, let, let me open with saying that I had this dream, and ordinarily I don't like people talking about dreams because they never hardly ever say what they think their dream means to them. They just say, uh, there was like balloons everywhere and I was jumping and there was an orangutan and the orangutan said to me, hit the off switch. And then I woke up, isn't that weird? And I'm like, yeah, that is weird. What do you think that means? They're like, uh, I don't know, it's monkeys and balloons. Because, <laughs> you know, if it doesn't mean anything, you know, uh, if, if you're not going to search for meaning, uh, why bring it up? Because I could say random gibberish. <laughs> That's a little harsh, but so be it. Um, the uh, the dream. Uh, I was walking with three people, and uh, I could tell uh, one of them, uh, I could tell I knew well, though I, d I didn't know them in real life. One of them I didn't know, and they didn't seem uh, that interested in getting to know me. Uh, and there was another there that seemed really interested um, in everything I had to say. Uh, kind of excited about the ideas um, or concepts that I was speaking about. And uh, we were walking alongside, there was a city to our left, and we were walking along a dirt path. And uh, we were just getting into a bamboo forest. And I could see the trail I had uh, disappearing into the bamboo forest. And uh, I, suddenly, I suddenly realized that I needed to go uh, back to the city. And I think it was for, like, school or work. I had some sort of feeling that I was supposed to be there for a, uh, some sort of appointment. Uh, Uh, but it wasn't necessarily something that you know that I that you know I wanted to do. It was something you know I was I had to do. And I had this sense of feeling that a kind of resentment that uh, I should ever have to do anything that or anything that should be going on in my life would be more important uh, than the now. Uh, like the, you know. Uh, hanging out with this guy that uh, I was close with, um, getting to know these two people, the, you know, one not being interested and the other being interested, um, you know, learning about these two people. Um, I had to stop doing that. Also, and the path was going to go into the forest, a bamboo forest. And I felt so angry that, uh, um, that I was going to leave, like, like, it didn't occur to me just to say, you know what, I don't know what, I can't quite, I'm not quite sure why I have to go back to the city. Um, I think I'd rather, uh, I'd rather, you know, walk with these three uh, along the path, see where it goes, and see who, the, who they are. Uh, which brings me to why I wanted to have uh, coffee with you. Because um, uh, you were just talking in one of your vlog videos about... Uh, like, you know, like that, that missing spark. Sometimes, like, you wake up and you wonder, uh, hey, all right, what next? What now? What, what's, uh, what's, what, am, what am I looking forward to? Um, and uh, I, know, I, know, I know that feeling. And when I was thinking about that feeling, uh, and all the times I've had it, like, this seems like, you know, I'm kind of doing, I'm kind of running through the motions, doing my thing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. And then something will happen uh, that will provide me uh, an opportunity to to, uh, to go outside of the ordinary. And uh, but the trick is, I now that I think back on it, is realizing when that thing is offered uh, to you. Um, and I think the times for me that where it's been the most obvious um, was uh, mostly through interactions with other people. Uh, I remember how I ended up getting into, I ended up running a yoga studio, I ended up uh, um, as, a, as a side business, and that was all based on uh, um, meeting somebody through work that was into yoga, uh, we went and took, uh, they're, they're like, hey, why don't you come do a yoga class with me, uh, and I'm like, yeah, okay, 
I've never tried that and I loved it and I really enjoyed this person and then uh, so we ended up uh, I ended up buying a bunch of yoga stuff and scheduling yoga classes and then promoting uh, uh, yoga and ended up doing yoga for like a year and a half um, all based on this uh, just an invite would you like to come out to go do some yoga and it turned out to be a year and a half experience of like getting to know this person really well getting to know yoga really well uh, um, you know expanding my business and what that meant and um, okay and then so I was thinking about that um, when I realized a couple times uh, in the last couple months um, people have offered uh, to go do things with me and I'm like uh, now I've got to do this and I got to do that and I have this to do and uh, you know I had to go back to the city essentially um, and I forgot that you know those moments those are little windows of opportunity um, might lead anywhere and uh, now I'm gonna see if I can't go back and snatch those I, I hope it's not too late and see if I can't uh, say hey you know that thing you were talking about uh, one of them was uh, learning how to play guitar um, I was like hey you know when you're talking about uh, learning how to play guitar uh, I'd like to I'd like to see how that works um, you know sh you know, show me some things would you um, and then who knows? Who knows where? I, I mean, I can imagine crazy stuff happening by learning how to play guitar. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and try to, to snatch those lost opportunities, uh, and if and if they're not lost, and uh, try to keep in mind the uh, those windows of opportunity when they actually happen. I don't know. I think I used to be a lot more adventurous. I think I, I think used to snap up any kind of offer, uh, no matter what it was, because I guess I, back then I was much more aware of that it could lead anywhere. And I, I don't know, now that I'm older or something like that, I uh, I don't feel as uh, I don't know, voracious. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know, what all, I don't know what that's all about, but um, it seems like that's something that should be struggled against. All right, Night Jester, uh, thanks for having coffee with me, and uh, see you in the tubes.